In every project there's a pipeline, and most pipelines online will tell you that there are three phases on making a game. Pre-production, production, post-production. Post in this stage you need to define things like what is this game about, what's the gameplay, and so on and so on. And also, this is where the magical game design document come to play. Let me show you how I made my game design document and yeah, how I kept it simple and stupid for this project. Come here. Let me show you Notion. This ain't a sponsored video, but I find this app very useful when it comes to planning both this YouTube channel and my game development things and yeah, inside the video game development, this is where I put most of my game design documents. Let's go inside the bullet hell game design document. And inside here you will find most sections that I think that are important on a basic and short game design document. This is the overview, details of production, story, art and style, and gameplay overview. Let's go to our overview. Inside here I put things as important as the game title, the genre, the brief of the game, well, this is a work in progress, and to whom this game is made for. And yes, this is mostly to settle the basis and later on have a synopsis for, for example, my HIO and Steam patients, and so on and so on. And for example, the licensing works for us if our game is based, for example, I don't know, you want to make a game based on Indiana Jones, then you need to put here the resources you are gathering. And let's go to our details of production. Inside here, I like to put mostly the plan and the calendar of every and each thing we are doing. For example, I made the game design draft in 5th of November. And right now, uh, by the day this video is being released, I made and I'm finished, hopefully, the prototyping phase and the isometric feel of my game. Well, the prototype mostly. This will help us later on reach the goal within a time span that we already settle for each and every action. And let's go to our story section. As the title says, I put most of the idea behind the story of this game and this depends on each game. But I like the idea to have something settled for the storytelling because later on it will let me have resources of reference when creating art and other stuff. This game story is a bit based on the movie The Thing, and it is settled on Oymyakon, the coldest inhabited place on Earth. Now let's go to our art and style section. In here I put most of the reference of types of art uh, to define how this game will try, well, will try to look like. For example, because of the story that's based on Oymyakon and it is the coldest place on Earth, I decided to look for a color palette that brings both contrast within cold and hot, and also because because the key weapon of the player is a flamethrower. Oh yeah! Now let's go inside the overview of the gameplay. Inside here I put mostly references, gifs and things that help me visualize what I'm trying to do with this game. When it comes to gameplay yeah, I like the idea to put things that already exist to bring a lot of references, different ideas and things that already work to the table. For example, this game will try to gather the bullet mechanics of both Enter the Gungeon and Toho with a bit of the view and the camera and the movement of Hades. I recommend you to put visual reference because later on when we are prototyping we know where we are headed to. That's all that I have in this game design document for my first video game. At the end of the day, the idea behind this document is to bring different ideas and settle the core mechanics and core gameplay and the core itself of this video game. And yeah, I know this is not a full game design document, but at the end of the day, this is meant for a six months project, or I hope so, and I wanted to keep it simple and then keep expanding it on the production phase. And yeah, I've, I'm right now finishing the prototyping phase, as I told you before, and this is my prototype. Uh, it still needs a lot of work to do, but at the end of the day, thanks to the game design document, I know what I wanted to do, and this is the result.
Thanks for watching, God bless and happy game dev.